Now, the president of Brazil has slammed racist abuse aimed at Real Madrid star Vinicius Jr. That's after the Brazilian player was targeted during a Spanish league match at Valencia. The game was temporarily stopped after he said a fan behind one of the goals began insulting him. It actually ended up uh, with Junior, who suffered the consequences about 97 minutes into the game. He was suspended for an altercation with another player, something his coach said was understandable, given the circumstances. Well, for the latest on this story, let's bring in France 24 Sarah Morris in Madrid. Sarah, tell us a bit more about the reaction that's been coming into this since then. Well, there's really been an outpouring of support for Vinicius Jr. after that uh, uh, racist uh, slur uh, involving, as well, potentially more than just uh, a one fan in the stadium. Uh, the Liga has said that it will be fully investigating uh, what exactly fans in the stadium uh, did. Uh, but Vinicius Jr. has said that this isn't the first, the second or the third time he's suffered racism uh, from Spans in Spanish stadiums. And he's had all sorts of players throughout the world uh, saying that they are with him, expressing their solidarity. Uh, you mentioned uh, the Brazilian president, uh, Lula da Silva, even speaking about this on the sidelines of the G7 uh, conference in Japan, uh, basically saying that this is unjust, that a poor boy who's on his way to become uh, potentially the best football player in the world, has to suffer this type of attacks. And he says, we can't allow fascism and racism to take over football stadiums. Uh, many commentators here and around the rest of the world are really calling for the authorities to do more, uh, saying that UEFA, FIFA and the Liga are not doing enough to stop this kind of racist abuse uh, that goes on in Spanish stadiums. Right, Sarah. And as you were mentioning, uh, Junior has said that this kind of abuse has been a regular occurrence since he first moved to Spain five years ago. How bad is this kind of racism, would you say, in Spain? Is there some sort of sense that, that this could be, could be a wake-up call for the country? Well, Vinicius himself, he's suffered uh, incidents involving racist slurs, uh, some people uh, chanting monkey um, and making monkey noises. That's quite common, or, or at least it's not uncommon from time to time uh, that happens when players of colour are on the pitch. And uh, what has happened is that uh, La Liga has, on a number of occasions, referred these incidences uh, to the judicial authorities who have investigated them. And uh, what one of those incidents uh, that was that uh, was being is being investigated involves an effigy that was hung up outside uh, the Real Madrid training ground. Uh, the uh, critics, critics would say that the problem is the Spanish justice system is not adequately uh, equipped or not taking seriously enough uh, this kind of race, racist abuse. And sometimes uh, they have uh, archived uh, the complaints saying that they are not uh, sufficient to warrant uh, legal action. Uh, Real Madrid Football Club has just issued a statement saying that it will be going to the state lawyer uh, to say that this is a hate crime, this latest incident at uh, the Valencia Stadium, and they will be asking uh, for it to be treated uh, seriously, to be investigated, uh, to drive this kind of uh, discrimination out of the stadiums. Sarah, thank you for that. France 24, Sarah Morris reporting from Madrid.